I am not the fat judge on Bake Off. <laughs> and much to the disappointment of my family, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an accountant, and no, I do not run a call center in India. Fuck it, hell at all. Now we never find you bright. Fucking stupid boy. Fuck. <laughs> My nan was not very happy. <laughs> Unlike my parents, I'm more Battersea than I am Bangalore. Cool. I very rarely speak any Indian, or is it Hindi or Gujarati? But I have mastered some key phrases. Sadalo, Takadal, Bobadams, Dokobras. What was I going to say next? Actually? It'll come to me. We're Indians. So, a lot of you white people are probably wondering what is it like for a British Asian living here? Everything from the sky remote, to the table, to the sofa, is covered in see-through plastic. <laughs> Why do we do that, Mum? Well, one day, we might be having to sell in the sofas. <laughs> the sofa that Dad's been farting on for the last 30 years? <laughs> That's why we're having the covers. Clever mummy in it. <laughs> a real Indian can grow a beard in two days. <laughs> Admittedly, it took my mum three and a half. <laughs> but that's because she's got some Scottish in her. Pride of place on my great grandmother's mantelpiece was a black and white old grainy photograph of a Glaswegian army officer raping and pillaging in the Raj. <laughs> anyway, I have a truly fantastic job. I am the head of client service UK. <laughs> don't patronise me, you don't give a shit. <laughs> What I really wanted to do was to become a train driver. Drive trains at 150 miles an hour. And it's the only job you can do semi-naked. <laughs> you're, you're in a hot cabin, you take off your trousers, you peel off your underwear, and you get some airage going into your undercarriage. Mmm, that's nice. Next time you're on a platform, you look at the, the driver and he look, if he looks stony-faced and serious, not him. But if he's smiling and waving at you, mm, and you're thinking, wow, he looks happy. Well, of course he's happy because he's got his nuts out. And half the time, I'd be going on strike getting my salary increased to 90,000 and my working hours reduced to 22. And the only downside of the job is that if you go to a party, people will moan at you. Hey, mate. You shouldn't be earning more than a bus driver. Because at least they've got a fucking steering wheel. I've got a teenage daughter and all day long she listens to hip hop, grime, trip. <laughs> My mum said to her, listen bitch, <laughs> my family swear a lot, you're never going to be a cool kid, no. You are Indian, not Indy. 
<laughs> you think 50 cents would be famous if he was called 50 rupees? No! I said, you should listen to your nan. She said, oh, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. When you start paying the mortgage, I'll be your bro, your hoe, or your dog. Now go and do some homework, lazy shit. I recently celebrated my wedding anniversary. 17 years. At seven years with my first wife. Two years with my hand. And eight happy years with my current wife. She says, I am happily married. She's from Essex. And it's not true what they say about Essex girls. They don't just wear knickers to keep their ankles warm. They don't wear any. Hallelujah, hallelujah. She's blonde, she's beautiful, and she's got a tan from all the bottles. The thing I love about her, when we first met, she's very straight talking and she said to me, Atul, you are the fattest bloke I've ever had sex with. A bit harsh, I thought. And you couldn't have waited before I finished before saying that? That's actually true. Still, she is a brilliant mother. However, a couple of months ago, she came rushing out of our son's bedroom, clutching a condom. <laughs> He's no longer my little boy. The real embarrassment about that situation was, our son was still wearing it at the time. I'm at all, thank you.